two divergent sequences whose sum converges. Let's go ahead and work through this solution. So the easy way to do this is to take any sequence that diverges. For example, let's take a sub n equal to n. So this sequence diverges because if you take the limit as n goes to infinity of a sub n, so of just n, well, you just get infinity. So this is not equal to a real number, so therefore this sequence diverges. So then what we can do is we can take b sub n and just take the opposite of this, so negative n. And this also diverges for a very similar reason. So because if you take the limit as n goes to infinity of negative n, in this case, you'll just get negative infinity. And again, this is not a real number, so it diverges. Remember, for a sequence to converge, when you take the limit as n approaches infinity, you have to get a real number. If you don't get a real number, then we say the sequence diverges. Okay, so both of these are divergent sequences, but now if we look at the sum, so taking the limit as n approaches infinity of the sum, so a sub n plus b sub n, this is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity, and this would just be n plus negative n. Really, really cool, this is the limit as n approaches infinity, in this case, you just have zero. So as n approaches infinity, zero is just zero. So this is zero. So this means that our new sequence, a sub n plus b sub n, converges. So we found uh, two divergent sequences such that the sum, a sub n plus b sub n, converges. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.